to a question about Russia and the U.S. and the Russian troops along the eastern border, other parts of Ukraine, um, not just Crimea. Uh, we now see Putin calling the president. We see John Kerry meeting with his counterpart, uh, which suggests that perhaps Russia is open to uh, some diplomatic overtures with Ukraine. But the, the key question here now, I think, for the U.S. is, what are those troops doing along that border? What you see the intelligence, what do you think they're doing along the border? Well, I have seen that intelligence. I can't tell you what it is, but I can give you my view of what I've seen. Uh, there's no question that there are 40 plus thousand troops, uh, that they are staged in various areas, uh, that to people who watch this, it looks like an invasion force. Um, Putin has said it's an exercise, uh, so that leaves a big question mark. I think what gives me uh, a sense that we may be able to solve this situation is the fact that Putin did call our president and suggestions were made and there will be a meeting this week between uh, the Foreign Minister Lavrov of Russia and our Secretary of State Kerry and there may well be the ability to solve this. Uh, I'm a student in college of Russian history. Any student of Russian history knows how important the Crimea was and is to Russia. Uh, Khrushchev gave the Crimea, ceded the Crimea, essentially to Russia in 1954. He, he did it for, I think, reasons of interest to Russia. Uh, the Crimea is dominantly Russian. A referendum was passed. Uh, that, I think, has been done. But Ukraine is, is a different subject. So 